Hey guys, it's Blade again from Cardio Security. Today we've got something a bit special for you. This is the Sony RSX GS9 reference high resolution audio unit. So it's a very, very special stereo. We're gonna go through the actual specs of the stereo, the uh, externals, what built inside the stereo itself, and also what comes in the box. And we'll also power it up for you as well so you can see it all powered on. Starting at the front, as you can see, it's a very kind of minimalistic, very subtle looking stereo. You wouldn't really guess there's much going on in here. Um, at the front, you've got the very large volume knob, which is when turning it, you can feel it's not a notchy, it's a nice, very smooth volume knob, which is really nice here. Over on this side here, you have a USB, you have a micro USB and an aux output. This is obviously for your uh, audio playing or, or whatever you want to use for a phone, a USB stick, um, whatever you want to use here. So on this side, you have a uh, nice little LCD screen, which will show you obviously uh, your volume and what track you're on and that kind of thing. And then you have four buttons. These are multi-function buttons, but obviously they do, they are labeled here and what they do mainly, but you can double tap them and go into different settings on them. Now, the actual body of the stereo, this, the face of the stereo itself is a one piece brushed um, aluminium. So it's a very sturdy stereo. And the way this is actually designed, it's supposedly uh, three or four times more sturdy than a, a conventional stereo, which means that if it's in a more rough and ready car or it's being bumped around, it's not gonna cause any distortion to your audio system, which is very good. And actually inside the stereo itself, it's separated into two layers. So you have a, uh, the analog system in one layer and the digital system in another. So that's to completely iron out any imperfections or any distortion you're gonna get in the system. So it's very, very good. Uh, one other thing to note as well, it is a full body stereo, even though it doesn't have a CD port, it's a full body stereo, so just be aware of that when, when it comes to fitting. Now, on the back of the stereo, we'll start from this side. Uh, you have a standard USB output, which has an extension in the box, which I'll show you in a second. You have a FM uh, DIN input, which is obviously for your radio. You have three pre-outs on the back here, so you have a, a subwoofer, it's a left and right subwoofer input, a rear and a front, and these are also four four volt pre-outs. Uh, coming over this side, you have a uh, steering wheel remote input. You have a optical output to any amplifier. You have a mic input for the mic that comes in the box. And then you have the power and the speaker inputs. So that's the main outside of the stereo itself. And we'll show you that what comes in the box now. Okay, so what comes in the box itself, the power plug is a little bit different to your average stereo. So you have a standard ISO connection on this side for your power. Um, obviously the input is a four pin, uh, sorry, eight pin plug, but it differs slightly in two ways. As you can see, your constant power and earth is separate. It's not connected to the system. That's because you have this separate power pack here. So I'll show you this. This is because this stereo takes a higher voltage than your conventional stereo. So it has this power pack, which I'll unwrap for you now quickly. So it has this, which is a 15 amp fused uh, power pack, which just ensures you're not gonna get any fuse issues inside the stereo itself. It's just exter uh, exterminating that. Now, obviously that would plug into there, and then this would plug into the back of your stereo. And then in terms of the speakers, Usually you would assume these would be speaker outputs, but unfortunately, because this is a reference unit, you're not really supposed to run this on standard speakers. This is actually high level inputs. So it's a left and right high level input from any aftermarket amplifier you're going to use. So it can take a high level input and switch that to a low level pre -out output. Uh, so that's pretty much the power setup. Uh, what else you get in the box itself? is the microphone which I mentioned earlier, which is a standard Bluetooth microphone to do your Bluetooth calls. You have a remote to go through all of your, the settings in the unit, it makes life a bit easier. And you also have a pair of removal keys on the back here. You have the USB extension to go from that little loom there that I showed you earlier to wherever you need to connect a USB to. And then you have the operating instructions 
quite a hefty booklet there. So to go through everything, which you're probably gonna need. So there's lots to think about on this. So that's pretty much the overview of the unit. So I'm gonna power the unit on for you now, uh, show you it all lit up and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so as you can see, we've got the unit powered up. Uh, I'm gonna be using the remote here to show you obviously how you can use the unit with the remote. I'll, I'll also show you the buttons as well, but it makes life a bit easier with the remote. Um, so as the unit is at the moment, it's currently a source off. Um, you can turn the unit on by pressing the source button just here on the controller, so press source, and you'll go through the different sources. So obviously that's tuner, FM, FM tuner, and then you can press up and down on the remote to go through the different um, uh, FM channels, obviously it will seek into what it, whichever channel you need to. You can click source again, it'll go into your first USB. And obviously you do have the USB on the front and the back, so there is USB 2 as well. Your USB DAC, which is obviously going to read your DAC files off of a MP3 player. Um, auxiliary 1 and 2, again you've got auxiliary 1 on the front, auxiliary 2 on the back. Bluetooth audio, obviously Bluetooth streaming. Um, now, one thing to mention as well, if you can see this on the front, this is the NFC logo. So if you have an NFC compatible phone, all you do is just tap your phone onto that logo there and then you compare to the Bluetooth device, it's nice and quick then. Uh, moving on, uh, back to tuner obviously there. Now if we go on to sound, which is the middle button, middle button just here, you can go through all the sound settings. So first of all, you've got the subwoofer settings. If you click OK, you've got sub level. Click OK again, you can turn that up and down. And we go back, back, sub level. Uh, sorry. You've got loudness, which is on or off. You have fader and balance, which is your standard fader and balance front and rear. You have an EQ 10 band preset which is obviously off. You have all your different presets, which you can set yourself. Or you can do, this is basically a positioning preset, which is basically time alignment, but it's got a preset there for you, so you don't have to do it yourself. And then this is position custom, which is custom time alignment, so you can set exactly how far away that speaker is from you. And then you're back to subwoofer settings. So that's your basic sound set settings on the unit. Then you have general settings itself, which is obviously, as most stereos would, you've got a clock adjustment, uh, regional, so you can change your language, all those kind of things. General settings, you have optical output, which you can turn on or off. So obviously you can change your kilohertz output. Let's go back. You can turn your brightness up and down, uh, set your dimmer, and then you've got clock adjustment there as well. So come back out of here. This is how you set up the Sony app. So you can download the Sony app onto your phone, which will allow you to um, make use of any uh, additional features on the unit itself, which you can't get into via the, um, the buttons on the face of the unit. Uh, so you have auto launch here. You can connect, which make life a bit easier when connecting. And then you have Bluetooth settings, so obviously you pair your phone via Bluetooth. So that's pretty much all the settings on the unit itself. So it's it's a pretty basic unit in terms of setup. Um, it's not really made for anything extravagant. It's made for very high quality audio. Obviously you have the high-res audio uh, little logo there on the front. Inside this, there is a multitude of different systems that allow the, this to be one of the best quality stereos on the market at the moment. A few of these things are, you have Native Direct Stream Digital, which is DST for short. This is basically the world's first system that has this, which allows you to get the absolute most crisp quality without any distortion out of the stereo itself. The system itself will play back AAC files, WMA, AIFF, ALAC, uh, WAV and FLAC files. As I mentioned before, this does NFC Bluetooth connectivity. So again, you tap your phone on the front there, it's nice and quick connectivity here. It also has DSEE upscaling, which essentially means that your uh, audio input will be upscaled by the stereo itself. 
and will be become better quality. And this also has ESS digital to analog conversion, which is the basically a, uh, a chip inside the system itself, which can convert your digital input into an analog, which is easier to convert into uh, higher quality again. Okay guys, so that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. This unit here, uh, as I said, it's, it's one of a kind. As you can see for yourself, it's, it's like a piece of hi-fi home equipment. It's really well built. There's nothing like this on the market at the moment. Um, obviously price point does reflect that, but if you're after something that will give you the best possible music quality in your vehicle, there's nothing else that comes close. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we have a few, few more of these videos coming out and a few videos that have already come out. So if you're after a new stereo, you're not after something as high-end as this, but maybe something different, please, please feel free to have a look at the other videos that we have out. Um, and if you did like the video, please just leave a like, leave any comments or suggestions on any other stereos that we should review um, and share to all of your friends. This is available on our website at corridorsecurity.com. Um, and it is available for fitting in our workshop in West London. So if you'd like to get yourself booked in, just please give us a call. Um, we will leave the link for this in the description down below so you can check it out on our website. And we will see you in the next video.